In addition to the three primary trigonometric ratios, sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta, there are three reciprocal ratios, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotan theta. Given a triangle with side lengths of x and y, and a hypotenuse of length r, the six trigonometric ratios are shown. In part a, if the point p, negative 5, 12, exists on the terminal arm of an angle theta in standard position, determine the exact values of all six trigonometric ratios. State the reference angle and the standard position angle. Use the point P, negative 5, 12, to draw the terminal arm. Create a triangle by connecting the terminal arm to the x-axis. The reference angle is inside the triangle as shown. Use the coordinates of the point to label the sides of the triangle. The adjacent side is negative 5, and the opposite side is 12. We need the hypotenuse before we can continue. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find this value. The Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Replace x with the adjacent side, negative 5, and replace y with the opposite side, 12. This gives us 169 equals r squared. Square root both sides to get r equals plus or minus 13. The hypotenuse is always positive, so we'll use r equals 13. Now state the six trigonometric ratios. We'll begin with sine theta, which is equal to 12 over 13. Cosine theta is equal to negative 5 over 13. Tan theta is equal to 12 over negative 5. Cosecant theta is equal to 13 over 12. This is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta is equal to 13 over negative 5. This is the reciprocal of cosine theta. Cotan theta is equal to negative 5 over 12. This is the reciprocal of tan theta. Now we'll use one of the trig ratios to find the reference angle theta. In this example, we'll choose sine theta. We can get theta by itself by taking the inverse sine of both sides. Use a sine inverse feature of your calculator to get theta equals 67.38 degrees. This is the reference angle. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode when evaluating the angle. We will learn more about calculator modes in the trigonometric equations lessons. Subtract the reference angle from 180 degrees to get the principal angle. 180 degrees minus 67.38 degrees is equal to 112.62 degrees. It's possible to get different answers for theta depending on which trigonometric ratio you use. If we find theta using cos theta equals negative 5 over 13, we get theta equals 112.62 degrees. It's up to you, and your knowledge of the terminal arm position, to properly deduce if the angle output is a reference angle or some other angle. Now we'll move on to part B. If the point P, 2, negative 3, exists on the terminal arm of an angle theta in standard position, determine the exact values of all six trigonometric ratios. State the reference angle and the standard position angle.
use the point P two negative three to draw the terminal arm. Create a triangle by connecting the terminal arm to the x axis. The reference angle is inside the triangle as shown. Use the coordinates of the point to label the sides of the triangle. The adjacent side is 2, and the opposite side is negative 3. We need the hypotenuse before we can continue. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find this value. Replace x with the adjacent side, 2, and replace y with the opposite side, negative 3. This gives us 13 equals r squared. Square root both sides to get r equals plus or minus root 13. The hypotenuse is always positive, so use r equals root 13. Now state the six trigonometric ratios. We'll begin with sine theta, which is equal to negative 3 over root 13. Cos theta is equal to 2 over root 13. Tan theta is equal to negative 3 over 2. Cosecant theta equals root 13 over negative 3. This is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta equals root 13 over 2. This is the reciprocal of cosine theta. Cotan theta is equal to 2 over negative 3. This is the reciprocal of tan theta. Both sine theta and cosine theta have radicals in the denominator. It is considered good form to remove the radicals from the denominator using the process known as rationalizing the denominator. For sine theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 13 to get negative 3 root 13 over 13. For cosine theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 13 to get 2 root 13 over 13. Now we'll use one of the trig ratios to find the reference angle theta. We'll use the cosine ratio, cos theta equals 2 root 13 over 13. Take the inverse cosine of both sides to get theta by itself. Use the inverse cosine feature of your calculator to get theta equals 56.31 degrees. This is the reference angle. Subtract the reference angle from 360 degrees to get the principal angle. 360 degrees minus 56.31 degrees is equal to 303.69 degrees.